Welcome to the Make and Design Podcast. I'm your host, Karina Gardner. On this podcast, we're unraveling the everyday joys and dilemmas of design, making, and business. For makers who want to be designers and for designers who are makers, this is your inside scoop to help you grow your business and bring more creativity to your life. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about designing in batches. So um, as designers, I actually think if we can create a workflow for ourselves, then designing when we sit down to design goes much faster. This is something I talk about in creating flow. Um, That was our April uh, accelerated designer workshop. So I just want to talk a little more about this here. Um, I was just thinking about this because um, a, a week ago, as of recording this, a couple weeks ago, um, I was sitting down and designing a bunch of um, wedding quotes, and I decided I was going to do nine. And so I sat down, and I had a similar font that I was going to use throughout. I was using these like uh, swirls and swatches, so I knew exactly what my design process was going to be and how I was going to bring these words and the flourishes together. And I was thinking about how easy it was, how fast it was to build those. And it wasn't because I just happen to be really fast in Illustrator or because I'm just an amazing designer. No, it happened because I had great batching skills and great workflow skills. So I think this is something that you can create for yourself. Okay, so how do you create good batching skills? I think the first thing you do is when you sit down, you figure out what you're gonna do. Okay, so for me, I knew I was gonna sit down to do wedding quotes. I was very specific about what I was going to do. I knew I was going to do like something that said groom, something that said bride, something that said mother of the bride and uh, father of the groom, like those kinds of things. So I had in my head kind of what I was going to do. The next thing I did was I sat down and I wrote out all those words, grabbed them all, and then um, went in and started choosing type. I ended up using my own font for that. And so I found my own font and I, then I found a secondary font to go with it, which was not my font. Um, and so I, I, because it was all ready to go, I could very easily see very quickly what needed to be done to make these special, right? So often I'm seeing designers, they just put words together and they just throw up on the internet. Okay. I want you to be more than that. You don't You don't need to just do the words. You can do things to make it special. You can change the way uh, the lettering looks. You can add flourishes. You can combine things. So that's what I started to do. I took each individual set of words or quotes and I just started combining things. I didn't do a ton to it, but I just did enough. And it was a very easy process because they were all sitting there, right there on my AI file, okay? Like they were just all on my palette. So that's what I want for you. It went very quickly, had nine designs rather quickly. Um, Granted, they weren't complicated, but I wasn't going for complicated. I just need to produce, right? And sometimes I get to um, a pace where I'm like, I just need to produce today. I just need to sit down. I think it took me probably an hour and a half sit down for an hour and a half and just get a bunch of design work out of me. And that's what I did. So these were SVG files that I was creating. I have plans for them to do other things with them. And so I had that in the back of my head because you guys know I love repurposing, but I'm hoping that this helps you when you're thinking about how can I just produce a lot? Because sometimes we need to produce a lot and we need to make sure and get some design work out there into the marketplace, have that add to cart button so that we're just showing our consistency as a designer. Hopefully this helps you and hopefully you can find some ways that batching works for you. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. And by the way, if you want to learn more about either surface design, levels of design, all that other good stuff, my recommendation is go check me out on my Instagram feed. We have so many great PDFs we're giving away right now. Just check that out at Karina Gardner. Um, It's just at Karina Gardner on Instagram and I will see you there. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.